Hello, Dolphin users. Now, this is one live case study by remote spot for one user from India. I have tried to unlock the hard drive, so its model is ST2000LM007. From the log window, we can see that the hard drive has been unlocked successfully. And after the unlock, we have backed up the most important system file, that is the SYS1B28 and the 35. After the backup, we can go back to the COM terminal mode. And we try to use the Ctrl Z and see if we can enter the F3 T prompt. Before the unlock and the most firmware backup, we can see that once any operations on the hard drive, we can receive one arrow of the DWF within the status registers. So at this time, to fix this hard drive, we can use one common solution within the DFL Seagate formal repair. Now we can go to the menu, uh, it's called common repair. And we can see there is one DWF fix. So we can try to use the second one, the DWF fix. Let's go to check the log. With the log, we can see that it takes some minutes, so we just need to wait until the repair completes. Because without fixing the DWF error, even if we use the translator regeneration, the drive still keeps the same error. So we need to fix the DWF by its common solution within the common repair menu. Why it takes 5 to 10 minutes? Because the common solution has several repair steps. The final step is called the translator regeneration. And there are also some other steps to repair this failure. Because the drive is one not the drive, so we need to have some more steps to fix it. So at this time, we need to check the log, and we need to wait until the repairing completes. After the repairing completes, we just go to the common functions, status refresh, and then get all the hard drive ID information and firmware information. Then we can see the drive will be fixed. So all we need to do right now is to wait until the repairing completes. From the log window, we can see that the steps we have used to fix this kind of drive. The first step we need to back up the ROM. Okay, let's check the steps to fix this drive from the knock window. The first step. Back up the ROM. We can only back up the ROM within the COM mode. Second step. We generate the unlock ROM.
here is the unlock one and the third step is write unlock one after write unlock one the next step we need to power off and power on and go to the menu ROM operations send the unlock key after sending the unlock key the drive will be unlocked after the drive is unlocked we need to back up the most important firmware modules or SYS files when we are trying to back up the SYS files we need to adjust the support rate to make the backup faster. Sometimes we can select directly the baud rate to backup the firmware modules. But sometimes if this auto selection of the baud rate fail, then we need to go to com terminal. We can use the B command to set the baud rate menu. So after setting the high baud rate, we can back up all the important SYS files. So after this backup, users can rest assured to run the repair commands. We need to change this baud rate back to 384 because this is the standard baud rate to repair the hard drive. Now let's try again. Common functions, common repair, BWF fix, second one. Before we can run any repair commands, we need to make sure we can enter the F3T prompt. Now it failed, so we need to power off, power on the drive again. Now we need to send this unlock key. Let's yeah, we need to do it again. Let's check the lock window. Okay, so unlock success. Go to this com terminal. Control Z. Okay, and then common repair. BWF fix. Now let's try to check.
This common solution contains also the translator regeneration step. So it takes a little time to complete the repairing. Now we can see the step three success. Let's try status refresh. all so at this time we can see all the hard drive ID information have been detected well now we can click OK Now we can scan the hard drive. So all the data has been available here. This is good. So we can go to the DFLDDP data recovery program at this time. We can exit this program of the ST and go to the DFL DDP data recovery program.
set as zero. Now, DDP. You can see that drive gets ready directly. So we set up one new project for file extraction. Click next. File extraction. Now we can see so this is one Seagate portable hard drive. Back plus drive. Now we can try to list all the folders and files. So all the files have been available here. So users can now simply right click any folders or files and then right click to save them or recover selected files. So now we have fixed successfully this case study. Now the user must feel very happy now. Now the users want to test if he can find, he can recover the files. He just selected one folder and then try to recover it. This is one Indian client. We can see it's very fast to recover the NOS data from this folder. Actually, we can check the NOC 